Hi you guys. Some of you asked me for help on how to edit BTS videos. Keep in mind that editing a video takes a very long time. I suggest only do this for fun because it is very time consuming. Don't do it to gain popularity or frame. I do it because I enjoy watching BTS videos. And I want to share my love for BTS with everyone. I want people to know that BTS are honestly some of the kindest and most humble people to ever exist. I also hope I can bring happiness to anyone who watches my video. I have created an Instagram account. If any of you guys want to talk to me, it is Vera Barry's shop. You might or might not be wondering why it is called that and that is because I am starting a BTS sticker and craft store soon. So follow me for updates or just a chat. I am so excited to start my shop. If there is anything you want to see by, please write it in the comments below. Don't be afraid to message me. We can talk about BTS. Or you can just tell me how sexy Jungkook is. L. O. L. Anything. Really. I love talking to you all. In this video, I will be showing you a short clip on how I edit my Don't leave the fake Macnees alone in the kitchen video. So if you all haven't watched it yet, please go watch it first before watching this video. Editing this 12 minutes and 25 seconds video seriously took me almost 2 weeks, spending 3 to 5 hours daily. Of course you might not take this long if you have a different editing software and if you are not somewhat of a perfectionist like me. Anyways, editing these kind of videos takes me the longest since I have to add in a lot of texts and not understanding Korean makes it even harder. Like your homegirl have been watching K-pop and K-drama for the past 10 years and I only know how to say. Okay, so I use both Keynote and iMovie to edit my video which comes with my MacBook. I will only be showing you how to add text on iMovie. This is a raw footage of me editing so you can see for yourself why I take so long. I guess it is more of a behind the scene video since it might be confusing. I will work on a better version so look out for part 2. I just wanted to make a simple video so you all can have an idea on how to start. I will show you guys how I edit this short clip. Editing this 6.3 seconds clip took me 13 minutes. Yes, I did say 13 minutes.
Okay, I'm going to end it here. It is the same process to add in R, Jimin Sita. And don't touch it, just move the texts around. I am not sure if you guys learned anything. L, O, L, again. I will have a part 2 to show you all some of the effects and transitions that I used and will try to make it less confusing. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I will address it in the next video. Also side note, I will be changing my YouTube channel name. I want to change my name to a unique one so that my channel will be easier to find. I realize there are a lot of Chinchin YouTube channels and I had a hard time finding my own. If you have any name suggestions, let me know as well. Don't freak out, this is just for my YouTube channel name. This might be the last time you see my logo Chimchim on a video, however, my old videos that are already uploaded will still say Chimchim. Thank you all for loving Chimchim so much I am honestly sad doing this. It's like me breaking up with my non-existent relationship with Park Jimin. He's still my baby though. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.